Hi all, today we are going to discuss about extension of range of voltmeters using the multiplier resistance or series resistance. So this is mainly used for extending the range of the voltmeter up to 500 volts and generally for extending the range beyond this voltage, generally we go for the potential transformers which is part of the instrument transformers. You can please refer to that section if you want to know that above 500 volts how the voltage is stepped down. So even we can go for the external resistances or we can go for the instrument transformers also. So why should we go for this extension of the range? What is the requirement? We have already discussed in the last two lectures, the amount of current that can be passed through the moving coil is limited to about 20 milliamperes due to the constraint of the weight because we want that my moving part should have the minimum possible weight. So in order to decrease the weight, we decrease the size of the conductor. That means cross-sectional area of the moving coil conductor. So automatically amount of current that can be carried will be less. That is the first constraint. And second constraint is the current carrying capacity of the spiral springs. We know that in the case of PMMC instrument, spiral springs are used for carrying the current to inside the instrument and to take out of the instrument. So again, the spiral springs, again, due to their size constraint, we can, they can not carry more current. So the, you, are, you have to limit your instrument current to 20 milliamperes. So depending on the resistance of the instrument, if you are taking the because of this when 20 milliampere is passed through the instrument, so voltage drop across your instrument will be of the order of about 100 millivolts. That means if you are applying 100 millivolts across the instrument, it can pass the safe current. If you are applying more than that much voltage, there is a chance your instrument will damage because voltage by resistance will give the current. So current will cross the current carrying capacity of your instrument. So in order to avoid the spoiling of the instrument, or to make the instrument used for high voltage range, we connect a series resistance which is called as the multiplier resistance in series with your instrument so that it can be used for extending the range. So for that I am taking the simple diagram. This is my load. Across this load, let us assume I want to measure the voltage. So for in series with your instrument, I am connecting a resistance series resistance RS or this is nothing but the multiplier resistance. Let Rm is the resistance of the meter and the maximum current that is permitted through the meter or the current corresponding to full scale deflection of this instrument will be represented by Im. And let us assume the correspondingly the voltage drop across your instrument will be V suffix M. So this is what I am taking. So this voltage drop across the meter will be nothing but equal to Im multiplied by Rm agree with me. So this Im is nothing but equal to IFS which is full scale deflection current. That means the current corresponding to full scale deflection of this PMMC instrument. Basically, it is nothing but a type of DR sonometer. It actually measures the current only. We can use it for measuring the voltage by using this setup. So now from this diagram, we can apply the voltage division rule because we know voltage across any resistance will be voltage, total voltage multiplied by that resistance by total resistance. So I want to measure across the resistance RM. So that's why Vm is equal to V into RM by RS plus RM. Agree with me? So from this, I can write in this form. So this I can bring to the second side. So this Vm I can bring here. I can write V by Vm will be equal to Rs plus Rm by Rm. So the ratio of V by Vm is called as the multiplication factor because we know the supply voltage is far greater than the meter voltage. So always the value of M will be greater than one. So this M suffix V indicates for the case of voltmeter. V indicates the voltmeter. So this is the multiplying factor of the multiplier or the multiplication factor of the voltmeter. So multiplication factor of the voltmeter or multiplier. So whatever you can write it, voltmeter, whatever the reason you write. So by, so this one I am just going to extend now. So this RS plus RM I am bringing here, this VM I am bringing here. So this I can write as RS plus RM is equal to V by VM into RM, agree with me? So from this, I can write my value of RS will be, this RM will come to the second side. We know that V by VM is nothing but MV minus RM. So if you are taking RM common, it will become MV minus one times of RM. So we can calculate the value of the series resistance by using this multiplication factor that is MV minus one times of RM. So let us see what are the properties of the multiplier resistance that is required. So first one is the resistance should not change with the time. So resistance should be same throughout the lifespan. And second one, the variation of the resistance with the temperature should be as minimal as possible. 
so ideally i want the variation of resistance with respect to temperature should be zero because in this case the resistance is more and the rated current is passing through the resistance so i square r losses will create the heat so with respect to change in the temperature that resistance should not vary otherwise what happens with respect to increase in the temperature the current will goes on increasing that will create the problem so that's why practically this series resistor is made up of manganese for the case of dc meters and if you are using this extension of range for the ac meters or for ac applications we will go for constant ton so now let us proceed further so let us see what is voltmeter sensitivity the voltmeter sensitivity is given by 1 by full scale current rating you will get the doubt it should be proportional to current rating why inverse of the current rating because you can see here for measuring the voltage we are connect connecting the instrument across this load so because you are connecting the instrument across these thing so it will draw some current so whatever current is taken from the supply some current is drawn by the meter so that means out of the current that is passing through your load some current is bypassed through this one as some value is bypassed through this one so the condition of your circuit get disturbed so this is called as the loading effect so if you have the doubt you can please refer to module 1 loading effect of the instrument so they have discussed this concept in detail so in order to decrease the loading effect we have seen there the resistance of the voltmeter should be as high as possible so that the current drawn by the voltmeter will be minimum so that's why it is inverse of the current so this i can write as 1 by what is full scale current full scale current is nothing but the voltage drop across the meter divided by resistance of the meter i can write in the form so this will be equal to so this rm come to the numerator this is rm divided by vm so what are the units rm is in ohms vm is in volts this is ohms per volt or it is also called as ampere inverse so more the value of the sv better will be the sensitivity of the voltmeter so please remember this one so let us try to calculate rs in terms of the sensitivity voltage sensitivity so we know the value of the v from this voltage v is the sum of voltage drop across this rs plus voltage drop across the meter so this i can write as im multiplied by rs plus im multiplied by rm because through both the same current im is passing or from this i can write the value of rs will be equal to v divided by im is common for both this i can write as v divided by im minus rm so this v divided by im so this V divided by IM, this I can write as V multiplied by SV. So this I can write as V multiplied by SV because we know that 1 by IM is nothing but SV. So that's why I have written this one. So in this form also you can do. Let us take one example to understand this concept. So then we will proceed further. It is given a voltmeter of the range 0 to 100 millivolts has a sensitivity of 1000 ohms per volt. Find the value of multiplier to extend the range to 0 to 100 volts. So it is given there. The meter resistance is 100, so voltage across the meter is, actual meter range is 0 to 100 millivolts. That means Vm is 100 millivolts. So Sv is given as 1000 ohms per volt. So this is nothing but equal to 1 by IFS. What is IFS? Vm divided by Rm. Or otherwise, this Sv is nothing but Rm divided by Vm. So from this, I can calculate my value of Rm. Rm is equal to Vm multiplied by voltage sensitivity. So this is 1000 multiplied by... So the SV is 1000 multiplied by Vm is 100 into 10 to the power of minus 3. It becomes equal to 100 ohms. So now I can calculate the value of series resistance Rs is equal to SV into V minus Rm. We have just derived it. I have substituted. I got it as 99.9 .9 kilo ohms. So let us see how to extend the range for the multiple voltages. So this multi-range voltmeter can be obtained either using a separate multiplier arrangement or we can go for the potential divider arrangement so let us see each one of them in detail now so the first case let us assume i want to measure three different voltages v1 v2 and v3 i will take one example so what is this v1 v2 v3 will be clear to you so let us assume for measuring the voltage v1 i need a different value of series resistance for measuring the voltage v2 i need different value v3 i need different value you agree with me so that's why for each voltage range i use a different resistor so that is called a separate multiplier arrangement the disadvantage of this one is so many resistors are required and a separate resistor is required for each case so that's why resistance value will be there and the cost increases for this case when compared to potential divider arrangement we will discuss there in detail so now let us assume it is connected to position number one so we can calculate the value of rs1 because only resistance that is connected is rs1 and rm we have already derived for the case rs1 will be equal to 
because rs is m minus 1 times of rm so in this case it will be equal to m1 where is m1 m1 is nothing but v1 divided by vm similarly if it is connected to position 2 so then rs2 is connected so rst will be equal to m2 minus 1 times of rm or we can tell that the m2 is nothing but v2 divided by vm similarly rs3 i can calculate as m3 minus 1 times of rm where m3 is v3 vm so let us see the second type of approach where i want to decrease the value of the resistance that should be connected so automatically cost will be decreases and it will be easy so in this case what will be there the resistors are connected in series like this so you can see here this is my meter so to the meter r1 is connected resistance of r1 another resistance having a value of r2 and the third resistance is having a value of r3 is connected so the tapping is taken at the junction of the resistors so between r1 and r2 i have taken so that i am representing by terminal 1 so let us assume this is used for the voltage v1 similarly between the junction r2 and r3 i have taken the point number 2 this is used for voltage range v2 similarly after the resistance r3 i take the tapping this is used for measuring the voltage v1 Th sorry this is used for measuring the voltage v3 so accordingly i am keeping the name of the switch positions as 1 2 3 so there will be a switch depending on the voltage to be measured we will connect to the respective voltage accordingly how many resistors are connected in series with the meter will change so now at position 1 so if you want to keep at position number 1 at position number 1 we can calculate the value of a v1 because this v1 is directly applied across this so that means because of the v1 im is passing through two resistors R1 and RM. So we can write that V1 will be equal to R1 plus RM times of IM. Or from this, I can write the value of R1 will be equal to this is V1 by IM minus RM. Agree with me? So this I can write in the form V1 divided by IM is nothing but equal to VM by RM. So V1 by VM is M1. This RM come to the numerator. This is M1 times of RM minus RM. Or this I can write as M1 minus 1 times of rm so similarly at position number two if it is connected at position number two you can see which resistors are connected r2 r1 and rm are connected so voltage v2 will be equal to r1 plus r2 plus rm times of im so similarly i can calculate the value of r2 from this will be v2 by im minus rm minus r1 so this i can write v2 by im is vm divided by rm minus rm and we have already derived the value of r1 is m1 minus 1 so m1 minus 1 times of rm so this v2 i am representing by m2 so m2 multiplied by rm minus rm minus m1 minus 1 times of rm so if you simplify this you will get it as m2 minus m1 times of rm so this one obtained so now at position number 3 I can calculate my value of the voltage V3. So when it is connected to position number 3, you can see here all the resistors are connected in this case. That means R3, R2 and R1, they are connected in series with the instrument. So in previous case, only one resistor is there. So that resistance will have the sum of these much resistances values. But here, each resistance value will be less. So automatically the cost will be less in this case. That is advantage. So now in position number 3, so again same thing v3 is equal to im into rm plus r1 plus r2 plus r3 so from this i can write the value of r3 is equal to v3 divided by im minus rm minus r1 minus r2 so this i can write as v3 divided by vm by rm minus rm so r1 we have already derived it is m1 minus 1 times of rm and r2 we have derived as m2 minus m1 times of rm so if you are simplifying this, so you will get this value as M3 minus M2 times of RM. So in this way, you have to go on deriving. So let us take one numerical so that this concept will be completely clear to you. A basic D Arson wall meter movement with an internal resistance of RM is equal to 100 ohms and full scale current of IM is equal to 1 milliampere is to be converted into a multi range DC voltmeter with ranges 0 to 1 volt, 0 to 10 volts and 0 to 50 volts. Find the values of various resistances in potential divider arrangement. So we know that it is given there the value of IM is equal to 1 milliampere. Resistance of the meter is given as 100 ohms. So we can calculate voltage drop across the meter VM will be equal to IM by multiplied by RM. That is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 multiplied by 100. So this will be equal to 100 millivolt. So we can calculate the multiplication factor M1 is V1 by VM. That is V1 is nothing but because it is asked to find the range for 1 volt, 10 volt and 50 volt. 
So first case V1 is 1, V2 is equal to 10 and V3 is equal to 50. Divided by Vm, you will get it as a 10, 100 and 500. So these three M are calculated. So now I can calculate the corresponding value of resistances R1 will be equal to M1 minus 1 times of Rm. That means a 10 minus 1 times of 100 that is equal to 900. Similarly, R2 is M2 minus M1 times of Rm is equal to 100 minus 10 times of 100 that is 9000 or 9 kilo ohm. Similarly, R3 is M3 minus M2 times of Rm is equal to 500 minus 100 times of 100 that is 40 kilo ohm. So in this way, you have to make the calculation. I hope that you are completely understood the concept of how to extend the range of voltmeter. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.